Yes, we're back to Rune Factory. Yes. So to let you know, the sort of the distance between the recording sessions for these, I think we started commentating these in May last year. Something like that. I know it. It's it's been a bit. It's been a spell. This is the first video we've commentated after the LP had properly started. I don't know why I dropped that. Think how many crops have grown in that time. All of these. Another one of the things that's really satisfying about this, you can get just stacks of crops out of one little crop that you planted. I think that's to do with the level and or the fertility of that particular patch of ground. Someone will tell me what's accurate. I always like that old RPG tactic of, like, if you end up getting something like a seed, you don't just get, it like, a pile of seeds, you get a bag of them. Yeah. Like, you dug a bag out of the soil. That's another nice thing. There is a chance that when you pick a crop, you'll just get a bag of the seeds. There is a mechanic to actually reap crops for seeds instead of the crop itself. I think we're going to see that either in this video or in a near future one. It's kind of interesting. It takes one of those slightly more useless tools in Harvest Moon and gives it a different purpose. Do you generally select the crop types that you personally prefer, or is it different each time you play it? Like, I'm, I'm kind of having an Animal Crossing thought where it's like, oh, if you play the game this time, you get oranges. If you get it this time, you get daikons, like... Oh, no, it's consistent. It always starts with turnips, and there's a progression through to all the others. Oh, yeah, it's that weird talking box with a hat. Yeah. How nostalgic and weird. I didn't want it blit. <laughs> I was actually kind of worried about that, because the shipping requests are bizarre. It doesn't keep track of anything that you've shipped before you've taken the request. And Eliza specifically waits until 8 a.m. when they've actually taken everything and given you the money. So like, you have to do it the day you take the request, which is weird, but she just gave me a turnip right from the start. A cooking contest, you say? Yeah, you can talk to Vulcanon the day before to get the rules, or you can talk to him the day of it, and he'll tell you the exact same thing. Or to give you an idea. Thank you for the stretch. <laughs> I think you should have to do a backflip and he interrupted. <laughs> and oh. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Even though you're the only one who works around here. <laughs> I'm really having bad allergies right now. Leave me alone. I like when you talk to the dragon, you kind of talk to its ass first. <laughs> That's why I was confused who you are. It's like, wait, what, what? Fishy Brent. Fishy Brent? Something seems off about him. I don't know, I, I'm not quite sure what he's holding above his head. A fish. <laughs> <laughs> A green cylindrical fish. Okay. An eel. That's eating a sausage. It can happen, man. <laughs> Amazing. Why does nobody talk to me? Amazing! Mailboxes work! They just send letters to me to tell me to do shit for them. Hey. Let's happy farming. Let's happy farming. Here's what I was talking about. It's the sickle that we use. You don't actually pick up the crop when you do that. You, you are destroying the crop in order to get the seeds, so it's a trade-off. But when you do that, that actually increases the level of the crop. As long as the ground is fertile. What's up? But we did unlock some more new seeds. You are able to plant any crop in any season. But, uh... The crops do grow better in certain seasons, and the color of the seed bag sort of signifies which. But who cares, let's do all of them. Yeah, I've got the real estate. 
Yep. <laughs> yep. Take my entire stock. Crane a Monopoly, Prince. <laughs> well, I am the prince. Where do you think the money goes through? Mailbox? Yeah. Hey. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, anime eyes closed to open mouth expressions. I don't know, if I was in public, I'd turn around and a guy was smiling at me with his mouth open and his eyes closed, I'd walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Jump into my mouth. <laughs> okay, where the hell is Clarica? That'd be a good way to start a conversation. Jump into my mouth. <laughs> You saw my request. Now get in there. <laughs> Isn't a chlorica like a part of the body? I don't know. I'm going to look that up. I feel like when I search up chlorica, it's just going to give me her character. Or maybe I'm thinking clavicle. <laughs> There's clavicle and then... What is this? There's something that came up. The like clerical acid or something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she's opened her mouth to launch acid in this prince's face. Like in Jurassic Park. Wait, you're naming the mailbox. <laughs> Just the image of he's the only one who hears the mailbox talk. It was really a bad <laughs> case of amnesia, so it could be the case. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> it's like you're playing, but you're stupid. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Near. <laughs> Jumps backwards. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting out of this situation. Why isn't nobody like Eliza? All right. I'll hit you if you don't like Eliza. So keep in mind, you can only sickle fully grown crops. You're not going to get the seeds back if you do it on one that isn't. You can still sickle it, it just won't get anything out of it. Right, I don't think... Hmm. I wonder if it will give you back the seeds, it just won't give you better seeds. If anything, it's dumb, don't do it. <laughs> That's always the best answer, just... Listen, if you do this, you're an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, good job. Now your pubert's kind of wondering himself. <laughs> Romance option, maybe? <laughs> oh, mailbox. Why can't I do it now? Plus, every time, because it's a mailbox, I imagine every time it talks, the little mail opening flat door just goes blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Well, if you look at her, it looks like her jaw is broken. So I feel like the words are just sliding out of the side of her mouth. Or it's coming out as... That was a weird point to take off your helmet. Where were you hiding all that hair? <laughs> oh, there we go. Come with me. Let's break into people's house. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. All right, you're the guard of the town. We have a mission to do. Okay, just stealth? What, what are you doing? <laughs> No, chocolate, which is perfect, because Forte loves chocolate. Her very favorite gift is chocolate cake. Doc just smashes his way through the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I camp it. And rice. All right. Rice in the pot? <laughs> yeah, it's just hiding out in there. In fact, I think there were some stuff in the pot downstairs in the restaurant as well. Thanks for all the help with fighting the monsters, lady. He's just watching, like, wow, interesting. I almost feel like if you find a cooked object just out on the overworld somewhere, you can submit it to the cooking contest. But I don't know why, because Volcanon is able to tell if you cooked it yourself or not. Cooked items on the plane, so it's just be like, hold on, this man's cheated. Clearly the gophers cooked this. <laughs> Good work. No! What an attack. We did fight Ambrosia a couple times before. I wanted to actually show up the attack because I killed it so quickly. Feels a lot more sick when you're killing a human form of it for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Ew, bug just crushed against the wall. What I'm really trying to do is level up. Holy shit. What the hell was that? That was a butterfly swarm. It just sort of slows you down for a while. 
I love the Mega Man explosions that occur on death. A couple of people have pointed out you can't actually... There's a little bit of a bug with the bosses. In that period where they're exploding and they drop the item, you are actually able to hit escape and get outside, but you can still refight the boss, because it technically didn't die yet. Oh, they didn't fix that in a patch? Not really. Here what? it is. That's the charge. Oh, thank you, Portic. <laughs> Pardon me, this is cruel. Look at all that damage. Somebody in the comments thought I was talking about the full combo of the spear when I said that that was broken. It's not as much. It does do a lot of damage, but I don't like it as much because you kind of fly all around. But with the charge, you do so much damage and it's such a concentrated spot. And you can actually juggle and stun lock the enemies. I find it severely broken and it, it is probably my most favorite attack that you can do. Fucking Tekken ass attack. <laughs> that one was even fighting you. Come on. <laughs> Look, I know the deal. There's... Oh! <laughs> Take that monster and galaxy? <laughs> that was a monster portal. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> That's what you get for sassing me. Wait, just an insect jaw? Insects don't have jaws. Well, that one did. It had mandibles. <laughs> now it doesn't. <laughs> this won't create any negative atmospheres in the house. Ha 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 She's off to attack you now. Clorca, Clorca, no. Well, I can cook something. Guess I'll take it. <laughs> Just a rice ball. Yeah. If I had an oven, I could make my own baked onigiri. Someone makes some beautiful dish, and you just hold this up, and they're like, Brilliant, Prince! Brilliant! <laughs> All hail the Prince! There. This doesn't seem like a very fair contest. <laughs> and I've got level 2 turnip seeds. You've got to shove fertilizer into the ground to get anywhere above level 5. Do the uh, actual looks of the turnips change as they level up? Like, do they get more ginormous? No, they do get more expensive, though. I guess that's cool, too. <laughs> it's the important thing. Man, I really need to upgrade that watering can. Leveling to turnip. Now you will holler, holler, and get dollar. <laughs> oh, is he the judge? Yep. He's the judge for every festival. He's the judge and he automatically said, I'm guessing you're gonna win. And you're like, pretty good guess. I mean, I'm sort of in sure. I have nothing to give. I shaped rice into a, whatever that is, a pyramid. <laughs> a pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that increased the quality of the dirt so that when I reap those crops, they will be a higher level. <laughs> Thanks for the conversation, pal. <laughs> Good morning. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. That's that's shitty. You want it? Oh, I couldn't take it. Oh, take it. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> What? An apple? I can't have the apple. It's more useful than the turnip seeds. Because I already have a shit ton of them. Good afternoon. <laughs> I thought he said Gouda. <laughs> I mean, I guess in a food town that would be important. No. I've literally done nothing. Did she pop out of the mailbox? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Are you littering? No, no. Just start shoving her slowly back in the mailbox. No. <laughs> if you buy anything else, I'll disown you. No, Mailbox Chan, no. So in that case, she does remember that you've actually bought something. 
I don't know why it's only the shipping things that you have to do the day of. I completely misread that. I, I said, with rice, you could make tacos. I'm like, well, <laughs> you might need more than that. <laughs> I mean, depending on the recipe, technically not wrong. I mean, you'd have to be really fucking creative. <laughs> yeah. I had Mexican rice. You could put it in a taco if you wanted. But just one... Just the rice makes the taco shell, make the lettuce. <laughs> rice lettuce. Look, if we could get soy bacon, you could do rice lettuce. Is there really that big of a distinction between a rock and a stone? Uh, it's the usability. I guess. It's material stone. Also, I don't know why this town demands so many turnips. I mean, how often do you really use turnips in daily food consumption? I feel like it's a very... Damn it! <laughs> You're just having a tantrum in your room. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like turnips... Are, like, it's a very Japanese vegetation idea that everything uses turnips. Like, even the daikons. I looked them up. Apparently, they're not that nutritious. But it's a thing. Honestly, that's where a lot of popular food comes from. It's not necessarily because it's good for you. It's just like, well, we have a shit ton of it. What are we going to do with it? <laughs> that's basically what happened with spinach. Here. Maybe if I desperately make onigiri, one of them will be good enough. Yes. Well, I guess you do put uh, radish in an onigiri a lot of times, so... There is purpose to this. Of course, it's about the most plain thing you could possibly make. Yeah, the only real reason I'm doing it is because I need to level up my cooking. Yes. You can't cook just anything. You do need to level up bit by bit. If you have the ingredients for a recipe, and you're willing to shell out a shit ton of RP, like, because, say, that recipe is a, at a much higher level than you can do, you can probably do it, it might knock you out. Knock you out? <laughs> yeah, well, look. Everything uses up RP, and if you run out of RP, it uses your health. You just look and go, hmm. I could, I could cook this fish. I might not be good enough, though, and just, you just slap yourself in the face <laughs> with the fish. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. I'm just glad I have a hammer so I can get rid of these rocks. Those rocks are getting really annoying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's bullshit. I just get scrap. Can you do anything with scrap? You can use it for crafting. I think it gives you negative stat boost when you do that. So basically it's a waste in every facet. Apparently there's one good use for it, but I'm not sure what it is. Someone will tell me. Dragon, the child seems to be throwing stones across the room. I don't know what to do, I'm quite scared. <laughs> Give it a hammer. Hammers have another good function, making tacos. <laughs> <laughs> now make a taco, eat it, and do your work. Wow! wow. Who said that? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> he dropped his supplies on the ground! I think that was Keel who said that. So, so it's like he was in the mailbox and then saw the rocks and thought it was amazing. I heard this, wow, like his head poked out from the mailbox. <laughs> what are you doing in there? I feel like a hermit crab. Of course, Porkling's the favorite for a cooking contest. I guess. Everyone's cooking these spectacular things, but it's like the prince's onigiri. Oh, we're fucked. Pubert's onigiri. Clearly homemade. No, I crewed out the ground, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> I don't have high hopes. Okay. Solid C+. Plus. Also the Prince. <laughs> oh my god. You're too excited to have the basically first last place. 
I just realized Porcelain has cupcake rings. <laughs> you sound enthusiastic. Congratulations on winning. Happy birthday. Shut up, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had the chance to meet Vic? Uh, I never, I haven't met him yet, but when I was in the studio one day, I had this awkward moment where I was signing some paperwork and I hear him singing behind me. And <laughs> I just hear, hear him just singing by himself. And the room is full of like 10 plus people and it's awkwardly silent <laughs> because everyone's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's funny because, like, uh, we were joking about Vic Manana in, like, part two and we recorded that last year, and in the meantime, you've gone on to be, like, an actual Funimation voice actor. <laughs> I, I've, run, I've run into him at least a couple times there. I've run into a, at least more of the other other people other than him because he pops down every now and then. But that was just the one thing I remember distinctly remembering is him just singing this random song. I don't know where it came from. And him standing right behind me like, I couldn't tell if he was looking at me while he was doing it. And me just going, not turning around until he leaves. <laughs> this is too awkward. <laughs> that is a detail I like. When there's a festival, a lot of the characters will gather around in the courtyard and they'll all have a conversation with each other. Do they say different dialogue things when you click on them multiple times usually? Or do they say the same things? I think they only have one group dialogue and then they just say their own individual things. Oh, that's cool. It's all right. <laughs> I, I heard that as piss <laughs> off right. <laughs> piss off, go to your room. Ten minute timeout, no supper. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. I like I added a little bit of a Swedish effect. Like, Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> <laughs> I've been calling you shithead and fuckface all this time. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> You know, you could talk to people normally if you just decide not to be a big grumpy dragon when other people are around. But she's got an image to maintain. Does she? Yeah, she's a god. Is that really that important? <laughs> it is to her. I guess. A dignity? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you won't. I, what can you, what can you do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Which is true. In all the other Rune Factory games, the Divine Dragons are bosses. Of course you can't be everywhere at once. You're only in one place all the time. I love this town. That's why I'm going to do nothing for it. Oh, I have a very mopey looking face man as well. I love this town. I don't want it to love me. Imagine with the bubbling that makes up her text sound, she's just drinking a lot of soda. <laughs> just imagine this giant tab can in her claw. Cause you like me? <laughs> you little rascal kick. <laughs> you little rascal just wait till my husband gets home! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. I hate that thing where it's like, let's talk about something, but let's wait till later. I, looks back and forth. I'm I'm already here, so. Da, 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 da. We have a contest where people throw beans at me. 
My one. god, is that a difficult contest. Is that a euphemism for something else? Throwing beans at someone? I wish. Is it like throwing shade on someone? Like, is it like an <laughs> insult? It's a contest where they force you in the middle of there and just pelt you with beans until you pass out. Here's what mining looks like. Those black rocks are where you get iron, and there will be later rocks where you get copper, different gemstones. And there are, of course, regular rocks where we get material stones. Thanks for the help with the stones. She's just like, you're doing good. Keep going. I'm out of energy. You gonna do something or okay? <laughs> Oh, there we go. She does actually do something. It looked like she wasn't really doing much. Is it like half a donut? <laughs> no, that was another crafting item we got off a bug. I think it was a carapace. I don't know why I got a turnip. You can't hold this on a Gary while holding a turnip. I'm sorry. No, it was my inventory was full. How big are these things you're carrying? I mean, like, I know there's that lot- oh, whoa. That's new. Yep. Here's me finally realizing, oh yeah, the magic rod has a charge attack, which actually does magic. And it's awesome. But that's faster. Reminds me of some kind of golden sun attack. Now those rocks are the gemstones I was talking about. Those are amethyst. Good moneymaker for early on in the game. Not these black ones. Although I did get lucky, it, it dropped an earth crystal, which is also a good moneymaker, but it's pretty rare. You're not going to see very many of them. Alright, folks, just wait for the upcoming Golden Sun LP that we do the full game of. And by wait, I mean keep on waiting, because I don't think I could ever do it. <laughs> and I've never played it, so... Can you make, like, a carapace sandwich? <laughs> now that would really blow the judges' minds. I'm sorry, I don't like you. <laughs> I like the idea of just in the middle of just like, God, you're taking too long, I'm going home. Right before the boss, too. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Forte. I didn't really need her help, to be fair, but... I had an idea of this child casting a spell. I'm just this lady flying at her and punching him in the face. Take that, 12-year-old. Not doing any damage to me. My stats are too high. Leave the room. Leave the room. Aww. No, I recorded everything up through part 10 way ahead of time. So. After that point, I will totally cheat it that way, though. <laughs> yeah, cheese it until it's like, oh yeah, I'm now level 150. Do wish I'd known about that, because you can get some good crafting materials out of the bosses. Dear Diary, the caterpillar thinks I'm Satan now. I appear every day <laughs> to kill it in more painful ways than the last. Often several times. Then I put Onigiri on its corp. <laughs> As a peace offering. After the facts. After I'm the quite violent beforehand. But next time, Vulcanon is going to be awesome for us. We'll see.